Hello y'all, welcome back. Uh, we are doing another barefoot shoe review. Today we have the Zero Melbournes. I wanted a new pair of boots. Um, as far as booty shoes, boots and boot-like shoes. Uh, I've got these and I've had these for a couple years now, two, three years. They've held up pretty well. These are the Lems, um, great shoes. <clears throat> They've got some wear and tear on the back uh, corner outside of the heel. I did just recently order some new inner soles because the inner soles have worn down, but um, they're definitely still wearable. Although, you know, this will eventually um, wear through in the not too distant future. So I don't know if I want to keep wearing them as my main shoe. I definitely want to keep them around. I also have these, not strictly a minimalist shoe, Got some Converse's black, um, but they are okay. Zero heel to toe drop, no arch. Not super wide, but if you buy them a little big, they can uh, work in a pinch. Lambs makes a nice black canvas shoe, uh, which I may invest in at some point. But I wanted, so I, I wanted a pair of boots that I, would be a little nicer, you know, because at this point my lambs are not fitting that bill. So I got these, I've got my so uh, toe socks on, I've got my toe spacers in. We are gonna check these out. And um, I, you know, just looking at them, I, I do like the look of these a lot. Um, obviously you don't, it looks a little different than a traditional boot because it's flat, it doesn't have that, uh, you know, the thick outer sole. So it looks a little different, but they look nice overall, I would say. I'm not a huge fan of this strap here, and I wish that Zero would, uh, I know that's kind of their thing, but you know, they can move beyond it now that they're doing boots and stuff. So I don't know, it's their trademark, but at the same time, I wish it wasn't there for this shoe. But let's, uh, let's put these bad boys on and see how they feel. So uh, one thing I do notice, even before I stood up in them is, they have less give in them than say the lems, right? So the ability to kind of twist like that is your foot, you know, mobility for your foot in there is not super high. Um, they've got, well, I think it's a Vibram sole. There are other, I don't see the Vibram logo on here anywhere. Maybe they've got some deal where they can not put it on. Most of their shoes have been with the Vibram, but, um, it's a very hard, it's a very thin, but very pretty hard rubber. So it will last longer than the limbs. Um, but you know, and of course these are broken in. So I'll probably do a part two of this. These have a really nice give to them, uh, which is nice. So we'll have to see how that, uh, how that works. Uh, get the other foot in there. Okay. See how these look and feel. Okay. I am into these. Um, like I said, I do like the look of them, which was essentially why I was getting them. Um, a little, uh, you know, dressier. Obviously not a dress shoe, but a little dressier than any of the Lems boots. Um, I considered going with, you know, what I would compare this to is like the um, the Vivo Barefoot. They have a Gobi boot, which is pretty nice. Um, looks pretty nice. I don't own it. But I think that is honestly a little too dressy for what I was going for um, as just kind of a you know, a nice everyday shoe. So I do like these. Uh, these are a keeper. The only downside I would say is they don't have a lot of give in them, but I think they will probably, uh, that will develop a bit over time. I'll post an update on them, but overall uh, I do like them a lot and these are definitely a keeper. They feel nice and spacious and roomy and they look great and um, I'm into them. So I'm, I'm very happy with these. 
So I'll have links to these and uh, toe socks and toe spacers in the description box below. And um, if you uh, purchase any of these shoes, let me know how they are. Or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Cheers.